been looking out to the city. Wanna run my day, that's extra. I've been looking out to the city. Wanna run my day, that's extra. Yo, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? Uh, so we got another video to help a bow user, or really doesn't matter what weapon you're using. This is going to help you. Today's video is going to be specifically for people who are using controller on PC. So if you're on console, I'm sorry, PC people who play a uh, controller. And even if you play mouse and keyboard, I think this can help you because I think you can overclock your uh, keyboard as well. But it, it may help you as well, too. I'm not really sure, but hopefully it does. If you are new to the channel, make sure you like to subscribe before i get into the juicy details and overall this is going to help you on monster hunter become a better bow player because i know my bow players watch me if you play any weapon on this game it's going to help you because uh having zero input delay or more of a faster um read time on your controller will help you overall and it doesn't even have to be just monster hunter world universal i'm, I'm pretty sure i put the title as like monster hunter world but if you play any other game, this will help you. So this is universal. I probably should change the title, but I really don't care because I, you know, I want bow players to, to have all the resources they can. This has helped me a lot in my gameplay, a lot of fast times in my uh, my runs, and this has helped me overall. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps. I'm gonna delete my DS4 windows, and I'm gonna show you and walk you through how to do this. So some DS4 windows, like I said before, is a program that lets you play with your controller you know, on your PC, so it's pretty cool. So it's just like basically having zero input delay on a, um, on a controller on your PC, which is, which is gonna help anybody who's playing a bow. Uh, um, if you have zero input delay, this is going to make your reaction time faster. Everything is going to be faster. Even learning a monster is going to be faster. You got like faster response time means that you can do more. Everybody, this is universal, but especially for my boat people. Yeah, man, without further ado, I've been talking for a long time. Let's move on to the video. I just wanted to break down what this video is for so nobody gets confused. So, you know, if you play PC, you got a controller and you DS4 Windows, this video is for you. If you're on console and you planning to get on PC, you need to watch this video as well too because this can help you become a phenomenal better player and help overall so that's that let's get right into the video let's go so all right so the first most important step before we do anything um just in case anything bad happens just make sure that you create a restore point a restore point is basically it's going to copy how data was or how your system was before you downloaded any of these programs so it's very important to create a restore point in general not just watching this video but you should already have one but if you don't you can just search it um on your search bar just put in a restore point it should be the first thing that pops up and then just put creative new restore point and name whatever you want i name mine um before ds4 and that's it it's pretty simple just make that just in case anything bad happens which it isn't but you know better safe than sorry always all right step number two i'm going to delete my ds4 windows and delete the overclock program that i have just to make sure that like we can all follow along and just do every step together so you are not lost because i like to do that you know just like in class i like to teach you to do that for me so i'm gonna do that on all my youtube videos because that's literally how you can never get lost if you literally do all the same steps so we're gonna go ahead and delete ds4 windows so just deleting ds4 windows is not enough it's probably still going to be on your computer um so you need to type in windows plus r so puts the window key and plus r and the uh, window is going to pop up and you should put a percent at data percent and you should see ds4 if you already have ds4 windows if you don't have ds4 windows don't even worry about this step just skip it or just wait until i move on to the next one now if you do not have a program that allows you to extract and you know encrypt files on your computer and decrypt files on your computer i would recommend download winrar I will put everything down in the description so you can download it way faster, way quicker, way easier. And always remember, WinRAW is free. If it asks you to pay for it, exit off because you don't have to pay for WinRAW at all. Next step is to download es4 windows and i would recommend to download it from this website because it always stays updated um and they always they make updates like every day e even you can see it's like the last update they made was like january 1st and but yeah just download it it's safe it's free trust me if you don't believe me just, just google it it's pretty safe before you download it just make sure you download the net 8 uh download link at the top before you get to the actual ds4 because it's going to ask you to download that anyway is this a program to help ds4 windows uh run a lot smoother on your computer so i would download that all right so the next step once you downloaded it and you extracted it just drag it into your desktop and extract it and then after all that you should see all the files and then click on ds4 windows out of the files it should be a controller icon click on the icon it's going to ask you to run it just run it it's safe 
and then click on app data and at this point if everything is good you might have to install some extra stuff but if you got it installed let's go ahead and start editing the controller to get you that zero input delay so the first step is to click the top right where it says edit and then we're just going to start editing our controllers so the first thing i would tell you is um put them dead zones to zero so the dead zones everything should be zero um you can just follow along just make sure they're zero because we, you're going to find out how much stick drift you have on your controller to be able to actually put like an accurate number of you know what the dead zone should actually be and i didn't say this but make a profile like make an actual profile name your profile when before you do this i forgot to put that step in here but i'm i'm just re-watching the video i'm like yeah i forgot make sure you just put dead zone zero and put anti dead zone zero so put both of them zero anti dead zone is going to stay zero no matter what and make sure that you do this for the left analog stick and the right both of them um but the dead zone you're going to change that number after you see an accurate number to put in there so this website actually shows you how much stick drift you have and how much stuttering you have on your controller it's actually a really good site um, i didn't find out about this site until recently from another creator i'll shout them out in the description but this website is a very good accurate depiction of how much stick drift you have and the access actually lets you know what the dead zone should be i'm testing on my access right now i have a lot of stick drift um on the right sticks a little bit more but i'm gonna round it out to about three so i'm put mine for 0.3 but just follow your number um on yours to see what is the accurate um number for yours so both of mine are about 0.3 and you can round it up to just to make sure they're both even or you can do whatever you want it doesn't really matter but now that we know that let's go into um ds4 windows and put in a number all right so now we're back on ds4 windows after we already seen how much dead zone should actually be on our controller and we are adjusting the numbers right now like i said before make sure you do this for the left analog stick and the right our number was about 0.3 so that's what i'm going to put for my specific dead zone make sure you follow your specific controller whatever the reading says just follow it even if it's just like 0.1 you know just just follow it for your controller but that's pretty much it for that step next step i would bind the touchpad for your ps4 controller if you are using the dualshock ps4 using xbox don't worry about it because i don't think i have a touchpad but the touchpad gets annoying acting as the mouse so i would bind it to the back button um just follow along what i'm doing right now this will really help you in the long run especially it's really annoying at times like it really is like having a mouse as a touchpad is 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 extremely annoying so i would recommend just binding it to the back button but you can do whatever you want i think this is just overall helpful all right the next step go all the way over to the right where it says other next click all the way down where it says ds4 uh bt roll and make sure that it's like one ms or a thousand ms whichever is your top option for you is like going to have the least amount of input delay you can also change change the color of your light bar um if you go to the touch bar and i think that's pretty cool but it's not part of the video i just think it's cool but anyway let's move on while you still on touchpad go to the output mode and change the mouse to controller if you go to controller readings you can see your individual input delay mine is at about zero already because i did the next step already but let's move on to the overclock method this is the last step you're gonna do all right so this is the last step in this process so this is the overclock method uh, it's actually a file on uh, github some created to actually help overclock your controller for ds4 windows so i will put everything down in the description like i said so all you gotta do is follow along but you're going to click on this website and basically download it and then once you downloaded it i would drag it into the desktop and then extract it or you can make an individual folder to have like keeps on it or keep better organization whichever one you want to but after you extract it wherever you put it at but yeah once you did all that you're going to click on the individual file and then you're going to see something called uh, drivers on it and then you click on the folder that says driver on it click into it and then you should see setup and then once you click setup uh, another box should appear and then when that box appears go all the way up to mouse click all so it can show you everything on your computer including your controller and then this is when the magic happens so you need to install service off rip before you do anything and then you need to find your individual controller you can just unplug the usb to find out which one is missing to do this easily to find your controller and then when you do find it go to the rate and go to the highest number you can go mine is the highest is a thousand some people's is eight thousand ten thousand after you click the highest point then click install service after that then unplug your controller and plug it back in everything should be good after that that that's pretty much it if you're uh if you have a pop-up window it may be an error 
I'll put the error message in this video. If you have this error, make sure that you go to your BIOS and you have to switch it from safe mode to non-safe mode. You wanna go ahead and disable that. Um, you can find your motherboard or the model and your system information if you go to your search bar and put system information. You can find out what motherboard you individually have and look up how to do it um, on another video. I'm not gonna get into that. This video is already long enough. I'm not gonna get into that, but that's pretty much the end of the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, just put it down in the comments. Um, I don't know everything about every error. That's the only error message that I ran into, but you shouldn't have no error messages. But hopefully this helped you, man. Um, if you know something about this that I don't know, just put it down in the comments. We're not here to hate or see who knows more than anybody. We are generally here to just help people. So if you're not helping, get you know, like, what are you doing here? Honestly, you know, so if somebody doesn't know anything or they're having a hard time, and you can help in the comments and do it. If it's some information I left out, put it down in the comments. Um, but other than that, I, I hope this helped somebody. This helped me in my uh, gameplay a lot in every game, not just Monster Hunter World. This is just universal. I know this can help somebody. I know it's a lot of people that didn't know about this because I didn't for a long time. And I will shout out the original creator that I got this idea from. I hope this, uh, like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and like uh i play monster in the world i'm a speed runner and i just like playing games in general so if you like the